guys, it's Jessie V. And as you can tell by the title of today's video, I am doing another video on Disneyland. I love talking about Disney World, Disneyland, Disney in general. There are so many conspiracies and creepy facts. So today I'm focusing on some very disturbing accidents that happened since the park opened. And some of these incidents have to do with kidnappings, which is so creepy. When you think of Disney World, you think of like happiness and positivity you would never think of something bad happening there but it does before I get started I just want to mention that we have a lot of cool new items on the website as usual and before I get into them I just want to remind you guys that a dollar from every single one of your purchases goes towards a Lyme disease foundation that we're partnered with it's called the G Magnata foundation and they're making such a difference with their research so every time you buy from us it goes towards something really good which I love so we've got some new butterfly charm necklaces we've got ice ice cream cone plushies, which are literally so cute. We've got Stewie the Hedgehog holding a strawberry. And what I love the most is that we have mystery hatching aliens. So they come in different color UFOs. And so you don't know what your alien's gonna look like. It is so cool. I love aliens. And I love mystery items, as you guys know. And speaking of mystery, we have just restocked our mystery galaxy ball necklaces. This has been the most highly requested item to bring back. So we did, but they are selling really quickly. So I'm going to put everything down below in the description for you. Okay, so let's get right into these Disney accidents. The first thing we're going to talk about is opening day. Disneyland's opening day on July 17th of 1955 was known as Black Sunday because of how disastrous it was. Some areas of the park were not quite finished and the construction crew had to rush to finish the other areas before people arrived. The plumbers had gone on strike, forcing Walt Disney to choose between having the restrooms finished or the water fountains finished. And he chose the restrooms, which I understand. But because of that, guests were walking around desperately looking for water and there were no water fountains. People were getting dehydrated. They were fainting. And it was a super hot summer day. So it was just not going well. In addition to this, a lot of excitement for the park's opening was created by Walt's television broadcasts advertising the wonders of Disneyland, resulting in the park being filled with over double its maximum capacity of guests. There was this one man who was charging people $5 to climb a ladder over into the crowded park because staff had to cut it off. Like they were closing the doors, they were shooing people away. So a guy got ladders and he was like, hey, if you pay me, you can still get into the park. It was so messed up. Rides were breaking down under the sheer amount of pressure they had to handle. The large crowds and technical difficulties made the opening day of Disneyland a disaster. Okay, and then we have a crazy event that happened on Easter Sunday. For Easter Sunday one year, they decided to have a helicopter flying around with the Easter Bunny inside, throwing flowers down to park guests. On the fateful holiday morning, guests arrived at the park clothed in their Sunday best, and a 100-member orchestra played on the steps of the Main Street Railroad Station. At 11.15, the helicopter appeared, but it was creating a lot more wind than they had anticipated, so this helicopter was literally tearing the branches off the trees in the park. It was blowing away all of the musicians' sheet music. It was lifting up all the ladies' skirts like Marilyn Monroe. It was just awful. These helicopters were destroying the park. And the rabbit did not seem to notice that anything was wrong, so he began tossing down purple and white orchids into the crowd. But here's the problem. The orchids were frozen solid because they were being preserved for the event, and they just did not have enough time to thaw for some reason. So all the guests were running around screaming as the Easter Bunny is throwing down these frozen flowers at them. It was like paintballs being fired from above and people's outfits were being ruined. They were getting concussions. It was really bad. The helicopter blew dirt and debris into all the Main Street shops and the force of the wind that it created blew out many furnaces and thermostats and apparently in the end, Main Street looked like a tornado had gone through it. So, uh, suffice to say, they did not have an Easter event like that ever again. Then we have the Beatlemania chaos. In 1964, at the height of Beatlemania, the Beatles flew down to Southern California to perform at the Hollywood Bowl. And since they were in the area, rumors began flying that they would come to Disneyland for a fun day off. And some of the Disneyland staff caught on to this gossip. And they began telling guests that the Beatles wanted to have quiet time alone. They were coming to the park. They were going to be walking around. Around. The thing 
thing was, they told guests that the Beatles would hide in character costumes and pretend to be the Three Little Pigs and the Big Bad Wolf. So the staff were obviously making this up just to be interesting to guests. And at first, the staff that were in the Wolf and the Pig costumes were playing along with the screaming girls. They were like pretending to run and hide just to go along with it. But the Beatles fans became so intense that the characters need to flee became real. Fans were mobbing the characters and grabbing at them all weekend. And it actually forced Disney's management to temporarily remove all the characters from the park until the Beatles left California. Because literally people were coming into Disneyland thinking any character who was masked or had a costume on could have been one of the Beatles. It was crazy. And the culprits behind this horrible rumor were never found. So those staff members who were telling everybody this were never found out. Okay, and then we have the rumor of the 200 kidnapped kids. In 1987, a 16 year old boy was sent out to the Disney parking lot to bring the car around front to pick the rest of his family up. But he was then followed by these two men who kidnapped him at gunpoint. The two men were thankfully arrested the next day in Los Angeles. The 16 year old boy was fine. But the abduction fueled these crazy rumors that there was a kidnapping ring in Disneyland, specifically in the Magic Kingdom. Churches in the area also began warning parents to watch their kids closely at the Disneyland park because people were in the park trying to steal them. So parents began calling Disneyland very upset, asking what they were doing to protect the children. And an Anaheim police chief had to give this formal statement denouncing the rumors, but they continued regardless of what he said. According to these rumors, 200 children had been kidnapped in the park. And there was this one story about a woman whose two-year-old boy was pulled from her stroller while they were walking around Magic Kingdom. And she began running around the park looking for him. And then she saw this woman who was standing there holding up this bundled blanket and she saw her son's shoe sticking out of it. So she snatched the bundle from the woman and was horrified to see that she was in fact carrying her son. And she had tried to disguise him with a red wig so she'd be able to get out of the park unseen. But this whole story was thought to be another rumor made up to scare people as there is no record of this happening. And what's crazy is that to this day, police continue to receive dozens of call each year asking about the non-existent kidnappings occurring in Disneyland. They want to know if these 200 kids have been found, but apparently there never was any 200 missing kids. But some people think like, is Disneyland just trying to cover this up or is it just a crazy rumor? Anyways guys, those are all of the incidents I wanted to talk about today. There are so many more. I can make this into a whole series. So let me know if you guys wanna see that. Give this video a thumbs up if you do. And don't forget if you wanna check out any of the awesome new items we have on the website, I have linked it down below. But I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hey guys, oh my gosh, I cannot believe that I launched my world this week. It's been so awesome seeing all of your amazing responses to it. I took some clips of people wearing their Coraline eyes and their Coraline sweaters. You guys looked so good. I was so excited to see all of you wearing those exclusive wearables. And I am so excited to get more people into the world. We're slowly gonna be rolling it out to more and more. So make sure you're signed up to the waitlist. I've put the link down below in the description and I will see you in the world very, very soon.